What up, world? We are back again. Your favorite host, that boy Bean and Cap. Now, I mean, shout out to everybody that's sliding through, man. This is episode three, man. My favorite you number. Dig. Yeah, yeah, man. We got to do a little toast to that, man. You know what I'm saying? We've been working. I ain't think we were going to do two. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, they thought this shit was a game. Nah, we really doing this shit. Yes, yeah, sir. So, as you know, episode two, we, we dived in. And our opinions about women, you feel what I'm saying, on a couple of topics, not too in-depth. But today, now I mean, shout out to my brother, Wes, you feel what I'm saying? Yes, the sir. topic created for the day, you feel what I'm saying? Today, we decided to switch uh, genders, and, and today, we're going to discuss you fellas, man. Before we talk about these fellas. Okay. Women. Okay. All y'all. Y'all gave me hell about last episode, boy. I got DMs, I got text messages, phone. Hey, it was just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Nothing personal. Nothing, nothing personal. Just, just my personal opinion, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I just spoke from my life experience. Don't, don't beat up the messenger. You feel me? Like, don't kill the messenger. We said that before the episode started. Don't like kill the messenger. We made sure we put it out there. Like, hey, this is just our personal experiences, opinions. Well, y'all was on my ass, and he wasn't doing nothing but laughing at my. You feel me? Shout out to y'all because we love the feedback. Negative or positive, we love the feedback. Yeah, we appreciate that though. You feel what I'm saying? But on topic, fellas. Goddamn fellas. Goddamn fellas. Last episode, he said it was y'all women's fault. It's you niggas' fault. What is y'all doing? It's you niggas' you fault. You niggas out here tripping. Like what? Tripping, tricking, tricking, and simping. simping. You said it. Yeah. You said some shit. Yeah. They, they doing all of it. What could, man. Let's go ahead and dive into that first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, if you watching this episode, we need to know what do you think the difference between being a simp and being a trick? Like that, that shit. Shout out to my mama. Because me and my mama had a conversation about this before the episode. My mama made it clear. Tricking. You paying for pussy. Like, you're not just getting pussy. You paying for it. But a simp is somebody, nigga, you ain't even getting no pussy. You just paying for everything. But in my opinion, it's really the same fucking thing. Y'all both coming out of your y'all pocket. Need, yeah, both of y'all so, paying. Like, it's the same thing. Both of y'all are simp trick. We're going to have or to come trick up simp. A trick simp. Something. Yeah, they, they doing that. A uh, ST. Cause you can't say T S. <laughs> they already took that. <laughs> they already got that. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that shit crazy. I know a couple of females right now in my phone. They got a whole. They got a whole situation. They can do everything. Three but, sugar daddies, but they call me for the dick. Yes, yes. Like, hey, Wes, I know you're gonna see this. I told you, boy. I'm too player, boy. I'm not paying for nothing. You got me fucked up. Now, it's a different. I just want y'all to know, not me from my opinion. It's a different from going out on a date, you feel me, paying for dinner, the movies, and now I mean, you they're handling cool your right business. Yeah, they're cool. Now, we talking about spirits change, now I mean, cash after the sex. You feel me? Yeah. You going to buy? Yeah. You don't even know this. See, it's a different when you trigger. You really don't even know these folks, like at all. It ain't even no like. Yeah, I'm not even trying to get to know nothing about you. Yeah, we just finna got them. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, but if a nigga tricking, oh, would that make the female a prostitute? Cause he only paying for the pussy. Now, in a in a in a way, yeah, because some niggas tricking. And like niggas is tricking to get the pussy. Like you actually got them. Niggas ain't just like dropping the bread and then niggas getting pussy. Yeah, yeah, it's some I niggas that's that. really, yeah. Like we did something today and yesterday. Like yeah, them type of niggas. And then okay. you got the niggas who okay. actually like, yeah, cause they yeah man, okay, they okay. selling coochie. I blame Ti for this shit. Yeah. You know that song? Yeah. You ain't tricking if you got it. Yeah. Fuck that. Y'all niggas stop tricking out here, cause <laughs> I ain't no trick, I ain't no slip. <laughs> y'all niggas better be hey. careful what y'all say, cause y'all speaking into existence. 
And then when hey. that bag come, them folk come back and get you later on. Hey. Yeah, you go from being T.I. triggering if you got it, to goddamn paying them folks, Lord, paying them folks off. <laughs> so, they'll, so they'll lock your suit So <laughs> what you doing? Hey, yeah, man. I pay a hush buddy shit. Well, All right. Yeah, y'all ain't got time up, man. Y'all make it hard for the single niggas like me. Because every female out here, this not to really touch on with the women episode, but women were saying, like, that's what a man's supposed to do. He's supposed to do this. He's a... Don't get me wrong. I'm cool with providing. You're not finna tell me what I'm supposed to do, though. Like, I take I take care of the house, all that. If you my girl, I do that, but just to date you? No. Yeah, see, and I'm that's the thing, even that. with all that, like, it, this shit done got so revolutionized to where, like, motherfuckers go from Two days of talking niggas, baby, you know and I mean, like, it just be so fast nowadays. Boy, like, be... motherfuckers be putting priorities. Like, niggas be putting shit on motherfuckers that don't even belong to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. man, come on with all that. Don't we not nigga third day talking? Yeah, why you sound like that? What wrong? My phone. Uh, I need. What? Yeah, we know that. And it's a lot of y'all niggas out here that's and they not there. going for it. Y'all kind hearted. You feel me? And if that's your thing, I'm not knocking it, but y'all just slow down. <laughs> uh, some bro, like I done had I done had a female hey. in two days. Next day she like, hey, um, can I borrow a hundred dollars? The fuck? I just met you. What what? You got you got some fucking nerve to even ask, mm-hmm. first of all. But god damn, like Y'all out here simping and tricking money, and they expecting that from every nigga they talk to. That is wow. That's cray cray. Slow down. See your cousin. It's his fault. <laughs> Slow down, James. <laughs> Slow, I know. <laughs> Hey, James, you got to chill, cuz. No, 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 he good. Now he done you got good? his spot. You good? Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. boy. Yeah, he good. Boy, you was getting out of hand in these streets, my boy. BC, gotta... slow down. Stop buying off. Hey, don't buy them folk pampers if that ain't your back. <laughs> hey, cut it up. <laughs> hey. Y'all didn't get out of hand. Hey, y'all didn't got to know when y'all actually helping and they ain't pimping y'all, bro. It's a difference. It's a big difference. Like, if she, if she got something going on for herself and then... Like she just randomly come out of nowhere. I'm like, hey, can you help me out? Really? That's helping. But the first week, fuck no. You better not ask me for nothing. You can't even ask me to buy you lunch. Bitch, we going to lunch when I say go to lunch. You got me fucked up. <laughs> you hard. <laughs> you hard. You a little hard. Hey, fuck <laughs> Hello. Hey, Let's no, come on. You bro. might need to interview this yeah. nigga. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm saying, bro. That big niggas, niggas is soft out here, boy. Niggas is nah, that's fat. That's but these females, that's y'all fact. is soft out here, bro. That's like fact. that, man. The stories out here, it be from women I ain't even fucking. And they be telling me stuff. I got a couple of homegirls telling me stuff. I'm like, what niggas is really out here tripping. Like, the fuck y'all got going on? What? Whew. I'm glad I'm built different. <laughs> I'm glad I'm built different, boy. The stock of the stock of pussy that went through the roof. Man, what? Through it, the roof. What? It ain't even forty dollar pussy out here no more. You probably got to drop about a thousand just to hit. I swear to God, what a hey, default is out oh, of here. Yeah, what think about it? We in Atlanta, Georgia, a sixty <laughs> and a ten piece from an American deli. You might, hey, it's a fried rice. Come on, yeah. that nigga said a ten. <laughs> Hell is you doing about a thousand? What man? Hey, what? Hey, y'all niggas. You a king, my boy. Stop falling for that shit. Plenty pussy in the world, bro. Now, see, I'm going to say, and I'm glad you just brought that up, because it just made me just think. I don't know what it came Oh, shit. See, the thing, I think what it is is, because these niggas weren't raised on that shit. A lot of these niggas weren't raised on that shit, like, that be on that trick, some shit. Yeah, I don't think niggas niggas were raised on that, bro. These niggas be tender dick. See, you could call her, you could, yeah, see, you got to realize, even back in all the history, yeah, it was a lot of these kings that was weak as hell. That makes sense. Who just got that. Look at your boy Adam. Look at your boy Adam. You hear me? He fell for Eve. (laughs) He fell for Eve. At the end of the day, 
if that dick don't work, <laughs> you go to buy something. <laughs> your dick don't work, you go ahead and buy something, man. Hey, hey man. Hey, fellas, y'all, please, please do me a favor. Stop using this fucking Bluetooth shit. This, these honey packs, these uh, dick pills at the gas station. I be here. No, no. The, uh, the... Perks, the perks, all that shit. Y'all niggas chill, listen. bro. Chill, y'all bro. niggas, that's see that now. That's why they use them. You talking about stop using no, them? No, they, use them, they already know. Look, look, <laughs> hell is you doing? That's they the need thing. enhancements, nigga. These enhancements. That means you got to use this shit every time you fuck. If that, yeah. That is, that coach. But what? See what y'all need to do, it, fellas. Find y'all niggas who dick ain't working right. It don't work when you trying to work. Man, go and see a doctor, man. Talk to them folk, man. Hey, get fellas, the, we can't get be the real. Scared. We can't be scared of the doctor either. Man. Hey, get you the, go to the doctor, listen, bro. Get the real pill, man. If y'all <laughs> say, if you want to do some prescribed yeah, shit, get no, some man. prescribed shit, man. They gonna give you a full bottle, man. Or you can talk to my. I got an uncle. Yeah, I can get you all the motherfucker, man. man. Just hit me up on the Instagram in the DM. No, fuck that. I we won't, ain't gonna put you out there. I want niggas to stop using that shit, man. Hey, some some of these niggas really out of here. Fuck all that simp and tricking shit. You know niggas out here fucking studs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> niggas, yeah. Well, y'all, hey, y'all getting out of here. <laughs> I know I said there's plenty of puss in the world. All that. <laughs> hey, yeah. Shout out to my Paula Bill. My Paula Bill. Shout out my boy Scoop, man. Hey, man. I ain't going to say it real, man. Most of these my group chat is in there. I know what's up. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What? This shit getting out of hand, man. No, oh, bro. My boy really be out here hitting these studs, though. Yeah. <laughs> no haircut with the way <laughs> That nigga sick. Hey. I said, I said, how? Nah, that shit sick, bro. That nigga might say she had some nice titties or something. I'm like, boy, still, bro. She. A haircut like your haircut, my boy. Y'all both got three sixty one. What? Right? Listen, bro. Well, what? The nah, fuck? I ain't hey. even gonna hold you, boy. That ain't it. That's not the. Hey, that's not the. Move. That ain't it, bro. That's not the move. Hey, niggas eating ass. You right? You know me. I'm. A, hey, I told you I'm pop my shit this episode. Okay. Yeah. I'm nasty, motherfucker. I eat that ass if it's clean. Know what I'm saying? You gotta be fine and fucked up, and that ass gotta be fat. Like, I ain't gonna let you sit on my face type motherfucker. I want that. Ah, yeah. Yeah. One of them. Okay. Yeah. So what's your what's your body count? Cut. See continue, bro. Boy. That nigga said, hold on, boy. Boy. I, I got to think about I it. Ain't gonna cap to you. I, ain't, I ain't going to put these niggas on front street. We did this shit when we was in our 20s. Me and two of our partners, we made a bet. It was the beginning of the year. From January to fucking July, we had a bet. They got down. The first nigga that hit, I think it was 100 bitches by July. You get $150 from the other two niggas. Mm. Hot three homies. Hot three homies. I ain't make it. <laughs> but I ain't back here. I got I got I got up to about fifty and I lost count after that. I I was like, boy, this one I was young too. Nah, we ain't talking about your goddamn like body count. We talking about your t- what's your tongue count? Oh on the ass. Oh, in that ass. I can tell you mine. I can tell you my number right. I, now. I say about two. I say two. Oh damn, you lower than me with all them bodies you got. <laughs> I ain't even got it. Everybody don't get that, my boy. <laughs> so, no. what? Matter of fact, I'll count it three. Okay, okay. I had a baby by all of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah. yeah, it's only That's three. Crazy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, everybody don't get that. I don't even, bro, when it comes to me, I don't even like, I like eating pussy, but I ain't eating everybody pussy. Bro. Like, I got to fuck with you for a good little minute for me to just be like, all right, yeah, I eat that motherfucker. Yeah. Nah. I can't eat that by pussy. That's why when it comes to fucking, if that dick don't get hard for you, baby, you better suck it or you ain't getting none at all. Mm. It's real. I don't even like heads. 
You better either suck that motherfucker and get it right, or you ain't getting nothing at all. My dog. Niggas ain't no head hunters. We we not, bro. We not. That What's shit. I'm 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 34 and I'm still gradually growing into that shit. Like man, that shit ain't no growing into it for me. Like a lot of y'all niggas out here, I don't heard females be like, he always wants some head. He always wants some head. Man, listen, baby, come fuck with a real. One. You ain't got something to do. Just bend over. I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I need. Just bend over. I'm trying it, boy. Hey, me. Hey, I'm That's trying good. to see. I be I be down there in that motherfucker trying to see if I could break my record type <laughs> shit. Like. I don't even hey. care. Like, those folks like, what the f- Hey, fuck you ain't. <laughs> hey, bro. Damn. Have you ever looked at your phone before you start fucking then looked at it after you been? Hey, bro, I be, it, man, I'm, listen, bro. Boy, let me just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Boy, man. Well, My what? girl will tell you, boy, that nigga got a problem, boy. <laughs> that nigga go to, boy, I... <laughs> I go to grabbing for my shit. I'm trying to change. I'm putting music on. Man, hey, the fuck? Hey. I, yeah. Damn, how long? What happened last night? Yeah, I cut the movie on. It was a whole nother movie on by the time we stopped. So the movie, when I had already checked the movie time, it said it was an hour and 32 minutes. <laughs> so goddamn, it had to be at least an hour and 37. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, bro. Boy, I was trying to set a world record, man. I be on, boy. Hey. You gotta stop yeah. that shit, bro. You gotta stop that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. No, cause what I realized with me is, bro, I really realized, and it was long time, going to my high school. I'm a pleaser, bro. Like, I realized I, that long I, I ass that. time ago, bro. I, I am too, but you gotta stop that shit, bro. So for me, that shit just be like, right. nigga be about to die. That be, I was like, let me see if I can get one more. <laughs> <laughs> let me just pull one more. I know I can pull one more. I'm like, hey, ah. no. for real though. Only reason I said that, cause. I love my mom Del. She like my best friend. Like we we talk about everything. And she came out and she was just like, bitches don't like when niggas fucking for a long time because it fuck up their confidence. It make them think they pussy trash. Oh, because when she fuck for a long time. Yeah. Damn, that makes so, sense too. So she was like, she was telling me like she told me this shit a long time ago when I was younger. She was like, if you give a girl a good fifteen to twenty, you did your job. Mm-hmm. I said, damn, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mama, mama knew I was a hoe before I was a <clears throat> Now that makes that now <laughs> that now that's a good tip though. Like, cause niggas if got, you out here, Jay Hen, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's shit, why I said sense. niggas gotta stop taking them enhancement, yeah. motherfucker, bro. See, for me, like my girl already know me, so it like she know it ain't got nothing to do with her. This personally, this personally, <laughs> this shit about me, like. <laughs> he said, baby, I gotta get right. Don't yeah, even worry. This man. ain't got nothing to do with you. This is all man, about. I, come out. I don't know where they came from either, but fellas, y'all nigga ass stop wearing these plain white t shirts, man. Nigga doing that again? That shit getting out of hand, man. Come on over here to goddamn K Sun where and let her put some on your shirt. Hey, man. Y'all nigga gotta stop that shit, bro. Yeah. Now I can see if you got a button up on on top of that bitch or, now I mean, a jacket or something. But y'all nigga ass, listen, bro. Niggas really back wearing plain white these? Plain white t-shirt. And ain't even wearing white forces. Is, is it is it the, the fitted motherfucker or is it big? Well, I ain't gonna lie, the way you got them fashion in now, niggas ain't even wearing fitted shit no more. Oh, okay, that they done got over that shit. That I, shit I, now I, they wearing goddamn they even wearing crop shirts with another shirt under the motherfucker. I seen that shit. This I shit getting freaky, bro. Y'all hey, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm Y'all niggas is making it so much more easier for us to look so much more weaker, man. That's why everywhere That's you go, fact. anything you look at, they making men look more goddamn feminine, man. And it ain't it ain't just them. It's y'all niggas, man. That's man. a fact. That's a fact. That's you feel fact. me? Like, y'all niggas is goddamn, yeah, feminizing goddamn being a man type shit. Y'all nigga pants too tight. Y'all nigga goddamn. I'm talking about y'all nigga pants too tight. We, I got to talk about that. Oh, my man. God, boy. Y'all nigga had pants be tight and y'all be having y'all whole ass showing, bro. Y'all young nigga freaky as hell, man. Nigga pants be tight and the pants lid tucked in the nigga shoe. That's freaky. That shit crazy, boy. I just I seen a young nigga like that earlier. He sagging like a motherfucker holding his pants. Got a whole belt on. Design a motherfucker. What's the purpose of the belt, bro? Like, you might well take that bitch off, goddamn. Oh, just wear the belt by itself around your waist. Stupid ass, <laughs> Stupid ass, well, I don't know. Damn, that shit crazy. Prices up. Niggas doing gay shit. Niggas soft. 
niggas buying coochie. Buying coochie. Niggas buying coochie and ain't getting the coochie. Niggas fighting over coochie. Niggas dying over coochie. Fellas, why we fighting over pussy? It's plenty of fish in the sea. We niggas been saying that forever. It's plenty of fish in the <clears> sea. Now I don't condone domestic violence. But why is you find a nigga that's in your bitch, man? Unless you personally know him. Now, if you personally know a nigga, oh, yeah, you gotta fuck him I up. feel like that green light anyway. And you feel you me? That ain't, ain't even, you, gotta you ain't even got to talk to him. Now, I respect you stealing on a nigga and anything because he stole the pussy ring. <laughs> See, but even still, like, going at the female for that, I wouldn't even go at the female. You crazy as fuck. Like, if I had a girl and she cheated I'm with good. me. You ain't gonna go out. First of all, I'm we just throwing we just throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going there. Uh, what? I'm fucking you up. That's <laughs> crazy, nigga. You know who's my girl? You but my brother? You, <laughs> 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 fuck. This ain't. Like, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why, why you coming at me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> she did it too. You know I can't hold my liquor, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> Hell no! Hey man! Oh. Hey, you, hey. you gotta fix hey, home before you fix man. outside. Oh, home, it ain't no home no more, bitch. You that? You gotta go. You better hope that nigga let you in, cause you can't stay here no more, man. Fuck that. It's a house. <laughs> that bitch. That nigga was like, "What if it's me? It's her house, nigga. You man, can't you keep her." We supposed to fight. Hell, yeah, hell, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I'll just say, you go, what you gonna no, do? No, fuck up. I knew you longer. Yeah, that, okay, okay. <laughs> I knew you longer. So long as you let her go, though. If yeah, you fight me, go. then you she stay go. with her. That's what I was you. Now, if I stay with her, you that's should come back and fight me, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was gonna say, that's the whole shit. That's the whole shit. You should be like, nigga, all that shit you were talk. Look, look, look. Yeah, you got We right hit for back. nothing. Yeah, you got the right to come back and fight me after that. Okay. <laughs> That nigga told me, you ain't gonna stay down there, huh? No. That nigga got to go. I'm your best friend, man. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, man. Right. But fellas, man, y'all tighten up, bro. Like, I feel like if you if you spending your bread on, like, if that's not your woman, now, it's a difference. If, God, if it's your woman. You y'all done built something. You, you feel good. what I'm yeah, saying? That's your girl. It's you time and that yeah. shit. Now, all that goddamn, we've been together six months. That ain't time, bro. You feel me? That's man, six no, months ain't nothing. You can't say that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Cause when you talk to a motherfucker down there every day, or even if you with them down there every day for six months, that shit gonna feel like an eternity, bro. It do in a way, but bro. But like I get what you're saying, but you can't really say that because it depends on the time that's put in in them six months, really, if you think about it. Cause that shit though. Six months feel like you've been with motherfucker three years. Nah, that fact though, I, I feel that. I feel that. But then what I'm saying though, in that six months, yeah, you shouldn't be taking care of nobody's life. Oh hell no! That hell see that no. that's where, where nah, I was going with that no. with that time shit. It wasn't about nothing else. What I'm what? saying is, what? if you investing your money into somebody, cause that's all being with somebody is outside of learning from a person and investing. That's all you doing. Yeah. But if I feel like if you invest in more into that person than you invest into yourself or whatever it is that you're trying to be, even if you ain't even trying to be nobody, you content with just working your regular nine to five. Now, I mean, and just that just be who you is for the rest of your life. Make sure you got there in the same amount of energy you put into that shit. You put into goddamn continuously being that person right. because goddamn. Right. No matter if you got them 21 or you got them 40, man, that shit could leave like this, nigga. Goddamn. Now, I mean, we done seen that bitch with every goddamn couple that we got them idolized ever, nigga. Facts. You feel me? And goddamn, yeah, the shit real. You see goddamn Will Smith out here crying on camera. You feel me? That bitch been the whole entanglement. He out here slapping niggas and he getting entangled. You got to hope. I ain't going to talk about Wilson. That's my dog. You feel me? I ain't going to talk about him. Your, pro- your priorities got to be right. Now, I mean, and that, I even put that out there for myself. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes, like, even with me, like, did the first time, I'm 34, and got damn, my girl, did the first time I ever been with somebody 
that didn't just trick on hot not I mean trick everything on me like you feel me like everybody i've been with before her was a trick like yeah you had to damn. they were tricking for dangling yeah so for me it's like did it at th a 34 year old man did the first time i'll ever like you feel me buying flight like she didn't even believe when i told her like she was the first person i ever bought a flight for she couldn't believe it well you're you're fucking amazing I, I really be sitting back thinking that shit. Like you, you fucking amazing. Bro. I had a, a great thirty two. Did nobody tell you that? You fucking amazing. I had an amazing, amazing thirty two, bro. bro. Cause I ain't doing nothing that shit. You can be my girl now. You better buy your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Got me fucked up. You better buy your damn ticket. <laughs> Nigga, e nigga, even when we started, <laughs> we started that security job, and we was in Chicago. Nigga, I had a girl then. <laughs> She like, she like, but you gonna send me out there? Nope, you better buy your fucking ticket. And I never saw her. You gotta be fucked up. Oh God. I look at it like it, it the same. For me, it like this. When when you know you serious though, not when goddamn, you know what I mean? That be the thing. Nigga be tricking Damn. off, spinning bread, going crazy, but then you doing other shit on the side at the same time. So it's like you double goddamn you double dipping in the bread the goddamn Jetta shit sure, motherfucker happy. Jetta have extra coochie. You know what I mean like that shit be dumb in hell, bro. Y'all nigga I'd be really baffled with this shit. All right, so Elsa did for me there. Do you think you should put a time frame on when you should really just start like let me see how I can word this. Not not take care of your girl, but like how you said, buy a flight for your girl. Do you think it should be like a time frame for that shit? Because me personally, I ain't doing nothing that, unless we got like at least a year on the app. Yeah. Now, I feel like with that shit, kind of, sort of, and kind of not, bro. And the only reason why I say the kind of not is because if I said all the way, yeah, then I'd be goddamn a bitch will lie because I did it. Okay. Before I even okay. thought about it, you okay. feel me with who with my girl now, but realistically, I would say, God, now that nigga rich, I would say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, I would definitely say, hey, yeah, though, and not even like a time frame. Like, I feel like more so in that relationship, shit, man, that shit, like, and that go back to what you said about like the six months feeling like forever. Because like you could get with somebody, bro, and that why that why I feel like you ain't got them. You you out here, yeah, you know I mean, living how you living. Cause you might not have some great coochie, but ain't enough. That's what I'm saying. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> see when you catch that one, where them mm -hmm. folk got them, it, it, that light bulb. When that that shit that be on that cartoon, we were kid <laughs> when that light bulb pop up. Yeah. No, nah, that shit real, bro. When them folk hit, you know me my whole life, bro. But you know how we get. Hey, out. man. But when you see how I am now, just, and that what it is, bro. Cause I don't really feel like I feel like the thing with you is, bro. Like you meet good girls, but it just be the same good girl. You feel me? Like you, you need you ain't met somebody that got them. See, with men, we need something that it's always got to be a question mark. If it ain't no question, then that shit pointless. You feel me? If it's something that you could boy, get you and read, I'm shit, telling boy. you, bro. You I've been writing shit, books. Goddamn, yeah, bro. I like for me personally, I need something that's challenging. That what it like, is? Like it been plenty of females that I met. I don't even want to fuck, but goddamn, being that I ain't trying to fuck, they throw it at me anyway. Cause they be like, that I didn't have to try to see yeah. if something wrong. Like I had one female actually tell me that she like, you weren't trying to fuck, and we've been talking for some weeks or a month or so, and she like. I had to try you just to see if everything okay. Hey, fellas, y'all gotta start cooking too. Let me throw that out there. Y'all gotta start cooking. Cause the fact that I be meeting so many females, they be like, damn, I ain't never had a nigga cook for me. I be making some basic ass shit. Bitch, I'm frying chicken. <laughs> you ain't never had a nigga fry yeah. no chicken? <laughs> no, nah, they only had, they yeah, fried chicken. You ain't never had no nigga make chicken alfredo? Like, simple shit, bro. Like, they love that shit too. Like, fellas, like, y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? If you, even if you taking care of the whole house, it's all right to cook, my boy. Like, cook, man. You know what I'm saying? They love that shit, bro. Yeah, like, man. Put yeah. that little, I'm going to tell you something. That, I'm going to tell you. And I can't speak for all you niggas. I know everybody ain't goddamn. Everybody ain't exquisite. Niggas ain't in their But 
for me, I know for a fact it's going to be a 110 or one one something on that receipt. Man, you could take a goddamn 30 and hit Walmart and get that meal, man. That same one you finna go pay. Goddamn go. 130 plus them little drinks. Got to cash out on that shit. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, bro. Go get you a nice bottle of wine. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, where? man, find yeah. out what she like, man. We pretty much did a little poll, you know what I mean, on our YouTube short. And um, we wanted to know what were some things that women wanted to hear us talk about touching on this topic about men. And um, a lot of the female viewers end up speaking on men with counseling, you know, as far as like men pretty much. Not want to talk to people like yeah. As far as not wanting to talk and be seen, as far as like damn, that's crazy. From counseling to the doctors, you feel what I'm saying? I just want to know how you feel about that, bro. Bro, that shit so crazy because it's a lot of times. Me personally, like niggas, we prideful. Like we prideful for hell. Like we will not talk to nobody. We can be out here going through it, stressed out, but we gonna eat that shit and like. We ain't got to be like that, y'all. We ain't got to. Like, this nigga here, like, I can talk to him anytime. Goddamn. My sister, Didi, I gonna talk to her anytime. Like, we got to find that outlet. Like, even though they're not professional counselors, we got to find them outlets, fellas, because stress is killing us out here, for real, though. Like, my mama had a couple of friends. They son committed suicide. It's hung, they said, Fast. bro. I got a like, homie that killed this up. Like, that shit. You know what I mean? For real so. mental health is real bro we gotta we gotta do better not even just the mental health we gotta go to the doctors we gotta go to the dentist we gotta you know what i'm saying we gotta take care of ourselves though, as right? men the same way you look at yourself in the mirror when you put them clothes on trying to build that image make sure you take that same amount of time and effort into making sure that you as a human being is all right Feel yeah. me? Because, yeah. like he said, mental health is like a real issue. Now I mean, and that's almost like seventy six percent of the cause for males committing suicide out here. You feel what I'm saying? Or crashing out, however you want to put it. But um, that shit real. Now I mean, and I feel like for me, I understand it on the aspect of being not wanting to like. Like how you say, put that out there in the outlet. Now, I mean, I never like for me, because I tell my girl all the time, because she always asks me like, I'm crazy, huh? And I always be like, yeah, shit, we all crazy. Everybody crazy yeah, in their yeah, own yeah. way, you feel yeah. me? And I feel like the, the thing with men is, our problem is even that out, outside of like a counselor or somebody that you got to pay to see, I feel like the problem be like, I know with me, my thing is like, even what I was talking to you about earlier, about the rent and shit, like, mm -hmm. with me is like, I look at that shit like, I know I got a lot of motherfuckers around me that got shit going on, that got paper that I could call on at any time to talk to or vent, you feel me? But with me, like, I, I look at everything vice versa, instead of it like, me looking at it from my standpoint, I look at it, yeah, yeah and cause like my girl always asks me like, like, and this ain't even got nothing to do with what we talking about, but like, even like, like massaging and shit, like when it kind of pamper, she always be like, damn, how you know to do that? Yeah, you know I mean, and with me, it always be like, shit, I just do this shit that I feel like that I know that I need. You feel mm -hmm. me? It don't yeah, even yeah, be yeah. like. Now nah, I mean, cause she always I me mean, like, yeah, you should, you could damn near be a professional massage therapist the way you be oh, got it. And it be like, I just do that shit and I touch places where shit, I really feel like shit, my lower back got damn needed. <laughs> you feel me? Like it don't really have nothing to do with that person. Yeah. Now I mean, once you get into it, it do because you in there. But as far as like the thing, it just be like, like me when it come to like venting or Talking to somebody, it just be like calling y'all niggas is just like, damn. After talking to this nigga, I don't know how this shit might fuck up his day. You feel me? Like, you might be goddamn. Hey, what's so crazy though, bro? I think one thing us as black men don't do enough 
is just check on each other. Like, that's why I be texting you sometimes, like, bro, you straight? You good? Yeah. Because, like, I be wanting that shit sometimes. Like, I be thinking about myself, but I yeah. make sure I do it for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it always be like yeah. that. Now that you saying it, you just said the exact same yeah, time. You said on some exactly. massage shit. Like, yeah. That would it I do be, it, bro. For, I do it for y'all. Cause I be like, damn, bro. This nigga take care of his how He take care of his how He do this. He do this. And make sure they straight. Because don't nobody... Like, with black men, don't nobody never ask if we okay. Yeah. Like, they just expect us to be like, okay, take care of this bill. Do this for this child. Do this. Do this. Do this. Go to work and still do this. Don't nobody ask if we okay, bro. That fact. Like, like nobody. Like, I can honestly sit here and say, if it wasn't... If it ain't you, mama would mama was asking me for a minute, but other than that, nobody ever asked. Hey, man, you straight? You good? Like, you all right? Because sometimes I really be fucked up, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? I play that shit so cool. Like, nobody will never know nothing going on. But niggas be out here fucked up and don't nobody ask and check. Hey, y'all niggas check on your mans. Pause. Like, you know what I'm saying? Check on your boys. Check on your brothers. Like, we got to stick together, bro. Like, everybody got to make sure everybody's straight. And it ain't even got to be no financial shit. Yeah. Just have a conversation with a nigga like, bro, you good? Like, I do that shit with you and Wes, faithfully. Like, I always ask both y'all niggas, y'all straight? Y'all good? Like, nah. Like, niggas don't ask us that enough, bro. Like, and we might be going through some shit. Nigga, if I get a text message like that and I could have been just crying, that should have make my day. I yeah. swear to God it would. Like, Nigga, we got we got to do better, fellas. Like we gotta, even if you don't got nobody to talk to, like your brothers, your sisters, your mamas, go see a counselor, man. Like it ain't, it don't take it. Ain't no shame in talking to a counselor, bro. Like, hey, your life is more is worth more than not being here. You feel me? That's a fact. So to all my fellas out there, now nah, I mean, you know, we might put you up under that gun. Now nah, I mean it discredit that fuck shit you're doing but at the end of the day if you're going through something man make sure you reach out to somebody and make sure you got them put it out there in the atmosphere before you ever put yourself in a situation where you think about doing something that could hurt a lot of people lives because you are somebody that somebody cherishes. you feel what i'm saying so shout out to all my brothers out there all my kings out there man yeah, keep y'all, living. Need, y'all need to keep keep your head up you know what i'm saying it ain't easy out here, but goddamn, keep living, man. Like keep keep going, bro. Don't give up. Like that that clip they made for D, uh, DC Young Fly when it was at the Breakfast Club when he was like, "Nigga, don't you give up? Don't you quit?" Boy, I watch that shit every day, boy. It'd be like, "Nigga, need to hit it." Like, don't give up, bro. You got yeah, it. You got it. Like, don't give up. Like that shit real, bro. But I, hey, you know the day them nigga anniversary. Hey, happy anniversary, to y'all nigga. If happy, y'all hey, it, you know what I'm saying. Happy anniversary, it's gonna to be after y'all anniversary, but happy anniversary. Happy you anniversary to LA and DD man. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. I called them niggas. I said happy anniversary, you ugly motherfuckers, and hung up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what y'all doing? What y'all? Hey, I can't wait till we start this funny clip segment though, cause it's a clip out right. A nigga was beating up his girlfriend, and she called her gay homeboy. They whooped his ass. His ass. Boy, that shit so funny. He like, they like, yeah, bitch, you want to, you want to goddamn, you want to fight girls, huh? <laughs> fight these bitch. <laughs> that nigga had dread. They grabbed <clears throat> They, well, they whooped that nigga ass. Hey, y'all stay tuned, man. We got this segment coming. We're going to be watching clips and we're going to react to them, man. That shit, hey. Episode four, man. That for, shit going to be hilarious. For everybody bro. that's that's tuned in, that been I can't wait, loyal man. fans, that been rocking with us, man. Even if you ain't been in the comments section, just viewing is enough for us. That's all we need. Episode four, man, we will be bringing to y'all the comedy section of, now I mean, each episode and you will get to see us reacting to some crazy ass videos. So just stay tuned to that. Get locked in. Get ready. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Turn that notification bell on too, man. You feel me? We are on everything me. from Apple Podcasts all the way to Google Podcasts, man. Y'all make sure y'all check us out on any platform. Tastemakers with a Z. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, that's she. And we are out of here.
but which 